Hey guys, so I got an email today from a client who said, can we do this in our profiles? I'm gonna spare you the details because the details are not important. So I looked at it, oh, that's weird. You should be able to. So I looked into it and uh, sure enough, she wasn't able to. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I said, okay, a bug? We just released the latest version of the app and uh, was a tiny little bug introduced? I don't know. So what I did is I went in and I started messing around with the database. I created some fake accounts and I just wanted to test some of the values, see what would happen in the UI. So I started doing a bunch of tests and I said, sure enough, I started finding not just one bug, I found two, three, four bugs. Things weren't happening. I said, why isn't this happening? Why isn't it working? So I started firing off emails to my lead developer because I'm not actively involved in the development of the app. Uh, yeah. So uh, long story short though, what had happened is that there wasn't actually any of these uh, bugs. What, what I was doing, I was adding values to a particular record and then checking on the live view, the web view of the app, but referring to another uh, record. So basically I was making changes to user blah blah and I was checking in the live system for user blah 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 blah. So I kept added, changing values in the database and it wasn't being reflected in the web app and I was like, why is this working? What's going on? This is crazy. This has been working for years. Did we do a stupid update? And I was firing off all these emails. This is not working, this is not working, this is not working. And then I realized, oh, dude, you're updating the wrong, you're updating the wrong record in the database. So yeah, in my rush to try to figure things out, I wasn't paying attention to uh, IDs and I, was make, I made a silly mistake and I was doing all kinds of silly stuff. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So uh, that happens sometimes. So uh, sometimes the bug is not in your code. Sometimes the bug's in your brain. And uh, there you go. That happens, especially when you get detached from the code base. See, that's the thing. At one point, if you're a developer, at one point in your career, you're going to have to make that decision whether or not you want to go into a higher level management or you want to stay in the code. And both are uh, noble pursuits, both are fine. I have friends who are my age and older are still coders. And I have the people who've moved on for a long, long time, such as myself. And the thing is though, when you let go of the coding, it's, it's kind of like the hard thing. It's kind of letting go of an ex, a girlfriend. Okay, it's not the best analogy, but it's letting go of that control and that intimacy with your code, with the code of an app that you're involved with. Sometimes it's hard to do it. Even to this day, it irks me. I feel, uh, I feel vulnerable, if you will, that I don't know all the code, like the back of my hand, as I did in the past. In the past, my old apps, even when I had people working with me and for me, I would have them do superficial things on the outside, and I would, I'd be very well-versed and involved in the core of the code base. So shit, excuse me, if stuff went down, I would just be able to go right into the code and, and fix it right away. Now, because I'm not aware of what's going on in great detail, it would be stupid of me to jump into the code because I don't know what's going on. So when you're in that position as an old developer, I feel kind of bound. I feel a little constrained that way. And it's a decision I had to make though, and I, and I'm, I don't regret that decision. Uh, at some point, some people, even if they've done years of coding and developing and you like it, at some point you may say, you know what, I want to get into architecture, I want to get into more advanced aspects, I want to get into the business end of things, rather be having my hands deep into code uh, for my entire career. And again, either decision is great, it depends on your personality type, but the downside of letting go of being active in the code is that you're not aware of what's going on and you might do what I just did and waste half an hour of your time doing a silly noob mistake and updating the wrong record and you know what I mean and seeing uh, seeing bugs that are not actually there anyhow that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed the vlog